Hi, this is lesson 7 of 16 and today I'm going to show you how to create a slab and column in Archicad. Open floor plan from our previous tutorial. At the top, click on design. Select design tools and then drop down and click on slab. Let's enter the slab settings. Click on that part. And the slab default settings will pop up. Let's begin with geometry and positioning. Type in the thickness of your slab. On 15 millimeters. Type in zero under this. Select concrete structural. Drop down to concrete structural. On this, confirm that it's underground flow, which is our current. Let's enter flow plan and section settings. These are the settings for that. Settings for the model, override services, select this type of concrete, on this, select this type of concrete. On this one, select Paint ivory black. Under categories and properties, these are the settings. Drop down to slab and confirmed that it's checked. After under this one, select structural bearing. And click OK. So let's draw a slab. Under design, drop down to slab. Click on it. At the top, confirm this is the one that you've checked. Then click at the point you want to begin your slab. Click once, drag your mouse, and select the points for your slab. Let's look at, uh, let's have a 3D view of our slab. 
click on that part at the bottom click on orbit and let's check our slab appears in 3d Let's extend our slab to cover the entry port. Click on a point you want to extend, drag your mouse and type in the distance for the entry port. Let's have a view in 3D of our slab. That's how it will appear. Now let's insert columns in our flow plan. At the top, click on design. Under design tools, drop down to column and click on it. Let's enter the settings, click on that. And the column default settings will pop up. Let's begin with geometry and positioning of our column. Click on not linked. Select the shape of the column. We want it circular. This is the diameter of our column. Select generic structural. Type in the height of your column. This one select zero. Confirm that it's underground flow, which is our current. Flow plan and section settings. Enter, select, and confirm that these are your settings too. Then click on model. For the services, click on stacko yellow rough. Let's choose this option. Select this one. For categories and properties, select column. These are the other settings. Once you've confirmed everything, click on OK. how to place a column in a flow plan. Under design, click on column. And then click on a point you want to place it in the flow plan, click once, and it will be placed. So let's drag a copy of this column, right click, click on move, drag a copy, type in, the distance, you want to drag your column, right click, click on move, drag a copy, 
typing the distance and enter. That's how you insert columns in a flow plan. In 3D, this is how they will appear. Let's save our progress. At the top, click on File and click Save. 